Yo guys, what's up? It's Mr. Buff here, and I'm going to be showing you how you can create a, a simple custom inspector for whatever game, whatever project, whatever scene you have uh, that you would like to make it more user friendly and just make it simpler to use. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so to start, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to assets. We're going to create a C -sharp script, and we're just going to name this script uh, something really simple. Why not simple? <laughs> just to make it uh, easy so simple um, you can be any name you want honestly it could be a script that you already have it really doesn't matter so we have this simple script now we're gonna create a uh, folder so the f name of this folder is very important you want to name it editor so the reason behind that is this is a designated name for unity to recognize if uh, whatever it just uh, lets Unity know that whatever is in this editor folder is an editor it is a custom inspector. It's something to do with the editor itself. So we want to put all our C sharp scripts, everything that's to do with editors and inspectors in this folder. Now, um, you don't want to put any script that you're not going to have um, on an object. Any script that you're going to have on a, on a game object, you do not want to put in this folder because it will not be parsed through. It will not be read. It, these are only um, scripts that are uh, used while you're in the editor so um, in order to do this you don't want to put like anything that's going to be on a game object in here so so what we're going to do is we're going to call this custom uh, simple inspector so custom simple inspector Usually, uh, the naming scheme for things like this is going to be custom uh, in the uh, as the first word and inspector as the last word, and your whatever script you have in the middle. So, custom simple inspector. Um, so, we're going to just want to open the simple C sharp script. While that's opening, I'm just going to go back to the Unity if I can. Okay, so I'm going to go back here. Um, and I'm going to create a empty aim, a game object. Um, I'm not going to name it anything. That's fine. Um, I'm just going to add a component. This is going to be the script, and it's going to be simple script. If you notice, if you add a component and click scripts, the the editor script that we had is not listed in here, and that's because it's not being parsed through. So we won't be able to add that into any game object as it is. So now that that's done and we have this open we just want to I'll just delete all this that's fine so we're gonna create a couple of variables um, we're gonna say uh, public bool this is gonna be one of the buttons we're gonna create a button and inside the button after you click it it's gonna open a folder or like a drop down menu thing so this bool is going to be uh, drop down button. Okay. And that equals nothing. So now the next thing we're going to say is a public um, color. Actually, no. Say string. It's going to be a name. And that's going to be nothing for now. I'm going to say username. Username. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to make another public. Dang it. Sorry, my fingers are not working properly today. <laughs> okay, so public. This is going to be, we're going to say like an integer. So int. Um, this is just going to be some number. And now uh, public, let's do color. And um, random color. Okay, so we have four variables, um, one of which is the, the drop down button. So we're just gonna save that. Now we're gonna go back and go into the editor script 
So now we have this open. We can delete everything just like the other script. And at the top, we're going to add two, actually just one variable. Well, one reference, sorry. Um, so using uh, Unity Editor. Okay. And now instead of mono behavior, we're going to have editor for the attribute. Okay. And at the top here, to connect this, uh, this script to the simple script, um, as an inspector, we need to add this block of code up here. So custom editor parentheses, and this is going to be type of more parentheses, and then the name of the script. So simple. Okay. So that's this is just a reference to allow Unity to tell what uh, what's script this is the editor for okay so now we have that if we were to save this this would really do nothing in unity itself um, but in order to actually override the inspector to get like a blank slate what we need to do is we just need to add this function so public uh, override void on inspector no oh, oops okay so on inspector GUI. So this will add the base on inspector GUI. You can just delete this. Okay. So now if we were to save this as it is, we can go back into Unity and go over the game object. You'll notice that this is open. The simple script is open, but there's nothing in there. It's dropped down, but there's nothing showing. That's because we're overriding the overriding the default inspector now say for instance you want to show the default inspector um, you can just you can keep it like this but instead of like the deleting the public override you can just say draw default inspector and you will have your default inspector go back to unity and we have all the game object uh, all the uh, variables and and such so we can go back into this and just delete this because we we're really not going to need it. Okay, so in order to change variables in the simple simple class from the uh, inspector, what we're going to need to do is reference that script. So um, we're going to have to write out simple, and we're going to give it a name. So s equals target. Uh, as simple. Okay, so now we can just reference s dot, and we'll get all the variables con uh, inside that script. Drop down button. So we're gonna create a button now. So we're gonna say this: if so, in order to create a button. It's going to be GUI element no. layout button. Okay. Now inside this button, one second, you can give it an image or you can give it uh, text or stuff like that. So this is going to be simple button and we're just going to have a name associated with it so button um, we're just going to say drawer so you'll notice that there's there's five different there's a, a couple different drop downs uh, different types of buttons that you can have so you'll notice it went over to the string text um, type of button um, you could have this as a, a texture you could have this as any other different thing that you want. Really, it depends on what you want it to show. So this is going to be the default texture for the button, and it's just going to say draw in it, uh, drawer in it. Okay. So if I were to save this, go over to Unity, and we have our button. It doesn't do anything right now, but we just have our button. You'll notice down here it says assigned but never used. The reason for that is we haven't used it. Um, so in order to use this button 
we're gonna say um, we're gonna have to create a variable to set this button to. So if we were to just use the the um, simple bool, so we'll say s dot uh, drop down button equal not s so this is basically it equals the opposite of what it equals so this will basically set the drop down button to be um, clickable so we'll save this and now if we click it we're setting the value so down here I want to say this right here so if s drop down button copy that equals false or true no. then s dot username equals editor GUI layout dot yeah dot um, text field okay and inside this field we're gonna say s dot username And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the color field. So s dot color. I don't know what do we name uh, this random color equals editor GUI layout dot color field. And inside this is gonna be random color actually. Yeah s dot random color okay enter now we're going to do s dot um, number equals editor gui layout dot uh, we're going to do an int slider just to make it a bit more interesting and then it's going to be the s number At the left side it's going to be zero Right side's gonna be, I'm gonna say 52 <laughs> for some reason. Okay, and then that's good. Now we can just save that and take a look at how it looks. So if we close it, we open it. You'll notice that this is all flowing. There are different ways to make it fixed, but this is all flowing. If we close it and open it, we can type in the name, say blah, 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 blah. close it, it's still there. And um, you can change the color to whatever color you want. Once again, this, this is a really simple custom inspector. Um, it's not going to do that much as it is right now. I mean, there's only one button right here, boom, boom. Um, but this is just to show you that you can create uh, custom inspectors. This is all customizable and it's really uh, up to your imagination to uh, how far you can take this. Um, there are different things like you can have a menu up here if you click over, click the menu, windows, uh, your, you can have a button in here that will open your game object, open the inspector, and open a window for instance. There's many different things, use cases for custom inspectors and I hope you guys uh, like what you see. Um, if you like the video, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what you'd like to see me do next. If you like this, uh, comment what, um, if you want more of this, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.